Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. We're doing a new love reading for Aries, the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what we have here for our beautiful Aries friends. For new love, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles, throwing caution to the winds. Okay, you're really ready for love, Aries. Let's look and see what the energy is in the recent past. You know what? You are pumped up. You are primed. You are ready for love. You have all kinds of good energy around you. The summer has really made you clarify what you want, and you are going after the gold, Aries. Good for you. Your current energy right now is trying to make a decision about what you're going to do. I see you very desirous of leaving difficult times behind and really moving on to smooth waters, you know, getting close to something that you find much more compatible and desirable for you. As you move forward into the future, we get the energy around you right now that you have a lot of clarity about what you don't want. You know, you've had some sort of difficult time. There have been people that haven't treated you so well, but we're seeing you in this energy of really facing everything head on. You know what you want. You have clarity. As we look at, you know, as other people are viewing you in the singles world, uh, we see that you have this really strong energy that you're not showing yourself. You're not getting out there right now. We have the moon card. You're keeping yourself hidden. You're keeping your emotions hidden. In your heart space, you want a new love that is tender and gentle, a love that's going to be easy and breezy and is not going to be filled with a lot of, you know, complication. You want something simple and happy. Aw, Aries, look at you. Your path forward that you are taking right now is really having this beautiful enlightenment in your life. It's all about the energy of knowing what you want and being true to yourself and really just following your own North Star. You know, just following your intuition, following your higher self. You really do know what it takes to have a tremendous relationship. And it looks like you've had bumps in the road and other people that really just weren't as, I think, good at relationships as you are. You know, you're, you're beautiful when you, when you care about somebody. You have the luminaries. The sun and the star card are the two highest cards in terms of enlightenment that we have in the tarot deck. What's hidden right now, even from yourself, is that for some of you, you're really worried. There's just a pervasive sense of life not working out right for you. But you know, we have a beautiful dove right there. That dove is there telling you, Aries, I'm here, you know. There is peacefulness. There is happiness. You know, you don't have to be in your head, Aries. You don't have to live in remorse and regret. What Spirit is recommending is that you stay very calm emotionally. You know, you feel very deeply, Aries. A lot of people think of Aries and sort of more, you know, what you do and your, how accomplished you are and how good you are at everything. But what we're seeing here is Spirit is saying that this is a time in your life when you really need to delve into your emotions, that you really need to uh, pay attention to them and to not really tell the world how you feel right now. To keep things to yourself. Play your cards close to your chest. Your outcome and new love. Look at you, Leo energy. Look at this sun card, the star card, and Leo energy. You have everything. You embody love itself, Aries. You have the infinity symbol tattooed on your arm, metaphorically speaking. You have everything that it takes. The new love is virtually yours. The moment you decide that you're simply going to let some of this negativity fall away, 
you know, it's been a rough ride for Aries for a long time. The planetary transits in astrology have been very challenging for you. And, you know, it's realistic to feel these ways. It's very, very realistic. And so you're powering through that with this beautiful strength card. Let's go ahead and see what the details are. So you may be attracting a Leo energy because with the Sun card and the Leo card, it speaks very strongly to possibly another fire sign energy. But that also can represent you, and it does. But you know, you're out there. You want to be with someone who's fun and lively and talkative and just joyful. So we get the hanged man. So that's Pisces energy. So for some of you, you may be dealing with a Pisces who isn't speaking right now. Uh, the hanged man, though, is really look at, looking at things from a different perspective, thinking about what you want very carefully and not taking any action until you're really ready to make a move. Look at this, a star card again. Look at that beautiful energy flowing over into this outcome area. You really want someone who is spiritually attuned and enlightened. You are very much enlightened. You bring everything to the table, Aries. When you love, you love incredibly deeply. And that is what you're looking for, is that reciprocity. Standing in the, the beautiful star, starlight for whom you really are. You know, the smile, the love, the things that you do for people. The Hierophant energy, look at that. You have someone who's very spiritually aware and someone who wants a traditional relationship with you, Aries. They're not going to put up with any defending the relationship or themselves. They want you. They want commitment with you. They do not want to have any situation in which there are multiple people or tr people trying to get your attention. A king of cups now has come up twice. You may be dealing or you may meet a Scorpio. This would be somebody that I think you know already because of the placement of the card. I feel as though this could be a friend. It could be someone who has really never confessed their feelings for you. But when we look at Scorpio energy, this person is very much, you know, Scorpio is life and death and, you know, being very, very serious about relationship. When we get the star card, you know, this beautiful Aquarius energy, it's, it's that enlightenment. You draw people in, your light is burning really brightly at this time, Aries. I know you don't feel it. You know, we have you in this sort of very strong feeling that, you're living the old wounds of the past. You know, we have nine of swords, nine of swords. We have the three of swords, or the broken heart, essentially. But, you know, that's not what is going to happen right now. I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel for you. I'm seeing this beautiful energy. You're just tired. You're exhausted of being, you know, around people who just don't know how to love. You know, around people that just uh, are clueless, you know, that, and you're just letting it go. See, oh, look at that. How nice. The death card right there. You're letting all of that anxiety go. You're just, you know, Scorpio energy again. So this, this Scorpio energy is very strong in your chart. It's all about letting go of the things that have hurt you and moving into this beautiful energy that's coming in for you this, this month, this week. The moon card is where you feel underwater. You just sort of don't know what you don't know. You're doubting yourself a little bit. You know, that's what I'm getting with this. But look at this. You have no reason to doubt yourself because the Ten of Cups is showing us with beautiful Pisces energy that you are going to meet somebody. You, you've already met someone who wants to have a very serious relationship with you. Remember, we saw the Hierophant card, and that is a traditional love relationship up to and including marriage, uh, something that's very traditional. Ten of Cups, you're happily ever after. So you're really having this beautiful energy, Aries, of manifesting what you want in love. These cards fell out, so I want to take them. We have the Two of Swords. You are not going to pay any attention to anyone who is not showing you proper affection. 
you know, you do want your partner to be your best friend, and the Three of Cups energy says that, you know, what you are looking for is somebody who's very nurturing. And I'm seeing that as being the case. You will have a relationship in which you not only have traditional love, but you share the same belief systems, you really operate and love the same way, you're very compatible, you're very strong, that this is a relationship who can carry, that can carry you through a lifetime because it will be with a best friend, a lover, confidant, but a lifelong partner. In your heart space, you want simple and joyful love because you've been through really tough situations, people who are just not capable of giving you what you wanted. I get the world card here. You're really closing out this cycle. You're closing out the cycle of people who are also immature, people who um, play games, you know, mind games, and that sort of crazy energy that nobody needs, nobody wants it. You're kicking it to the curb. You're just letting it go, and you're seeing it for the truth that it is. Aries, we have fireworks in Chicago going off right now, as we do typically, and my little dog Rosie is arguing about the fact that anybody should shoot fireworks off at 11 o'clock at night in Chicago. Rosie, it's okay, sweets. It's okay. Let it go. Let it go. We have the star card here. Tell us about the star card. You are moving on. If you're currently in a situation, you may physically be moving. It looks as though you're going to move someplace that's much nicer, much prettier. You're really, you're in that boat, you're tooling away, you're saying, you know what? C'est la vie, I'm going forward, and whatever happens, happens. And that is exactly the energy that you need. You know, don't let anything haunt you. Look at that. Judge Judy, I love it. Judge Judy is an American judge in the court system who systems excuse me who makes very good balanced decisions because she knows the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth that's what i'm getting for you you just you're not having it you're not going to put up with anybody or anything that you don't understand the moon card somebody has you underwater here because you never know what they're going to do and that's been the heartbreak of the recent past we just see you like, what the hell, most of the time, going, what is going on here? The chariot card says you are rushing forward in your life. You are moving on. You know, if you, this person that I feel has been around you lingering, you're just moving past that energy. Uh, I feel like somebody's been holding on to you that isn't really giving you what you need. And the devil card, yep, you're just moving on. The devil energy, you're not having it. Again, I love this this energy. The devil card, the death card on the devil energy. Really having clarity, standing in your power, knowing what you want, and isn't that the secret to your success? Why do we have you so worried here? What's going on with that? The Knight of Pentacles, beautiful, okay. So Aries, you really do know that you have what it takes to make things work. You're just going to be slow and methodical about how you move forward. For many of you, you have a Virgo coming in. So I'm seeing an Aquarius, King of Swords. I'm seeing the King of Cups, which is Scorpio. I'm seeing the Virgo, um, the Virgo Knight here. So, you know, with the Star card, we're seeing Aquarius energy. We're also seeing this beautiful double Leo energy bookending this reading for you. So you have a lot of options coming in. And I feel as though the fire sign may be the most, the best for you. We're getting the six of cups. There is somebody coming in from the past. There's somebody who, with whom, or whom has loved you since childhood. So if you're going to a class reunion, get ready for love because look at this, four of wands. That is a marriage card that's usually the bride and groom dancing under the garland. It's buying a home with somebody. It's a living with somebody. It's the 1111 card. It's beautiful stability is coming in for you, Aries. Intellectually, I feel that most of you know it, but you're just coming out of a place of confusion in your life and i'm so happy for you six of wands winner winner chicken dinner leo energy look at that somebody's going to 
come into your life again very strong Leo energy they're going to tell you the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth this person is going to make an offer to you right away to date exclusively they want to get to know you they want to get to know all about you and here you are Aries Summing up your reading, the Aries Queen, feeling inner power. You want to be able to love somebody wholeheartedly, and that's what you're going to have. You're going to have the kind of excitement and love that you have been craving for a long time now and has been MIA in your life. But here you are, Aries. What a beautiful new love reading for you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.